Okay, thank you very much. You know, sometimes, you know, too much, too many tape going on. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. That's why. Thank you very much, teacher. You're welcome. Now, again, when they're talking about filter, that they're talking about a circuitry capable to passing a signal with a certain selected frequency while rejecting signal with the other frequency. That's the only thing that they tell you what the signal you want to let it go. If it's not, they block it. Okay? This property they call selectivity. That's why you tune in your radio. AM or FM doesn't matter. Which channel you want. That means you allow the signal on this channel will be gone. Otherwise, they try to block the other. Passive filter using RLIC, RCL circuitry. And also you get the active filter. The different day using up air and RC, okay? The reason they say active, the thing is up and they need the power supply. Okay? Either passive or active, they working the same. Okay? In electronic, you will be learn active filter. In the AC circuitry, we will be learn passive filter. Okay? So, passive circuit provide frequency selectivity. The four basic category of passive filter will be low path, high path filter, band path filter, and band stop filter. Also get another name, here, not filter. Okay? So now, the first thing we're talking about, low path filter. This is the ideal low path filter. This stands for the gate. AV equal V out divide VE. And this is the frequency domain. That means they vary it vary with the frequency, okay? This is the ideal output for the low path filter. That means they allow any signal from zero hertz here up to the frequency we call FC, cut up frequency. We already talked to you last time, cut off frequency or the critical frequency or the stop frequency, corner frequency, they get too many, too many different names, okay? That means at the cut off frequency, then end the signal, less than cut off frequency, they are allowed to pass outside the cutoff, they want to stop it, okay? So, for the low path filter, the bandwidth of the low path filter will be going from zero hook up to FC hook or kilo hook, doesn't matter. Now that a, you can say this is a zero dB. My question is, at this point here, V out divide to V in. That means the gain equal what? 
what do you call? One. One, perfect. Equal one. That's how they're carrying you. Input going can vote. Output coming out can vote. Do not lost. Okay. If you get an input equal 10 volt, output only equal 5 volt, you lock. Okay. The region zero dB is the thing they take 20 lock of one. That equal zero dB. Zero dB means no loss. Input output will be the same. And now, however, this the ideal. They talking about practical response. Remember, response here. That means output same thing. For the practical filter, the cutoff, they not at right here. They will be cut off at minus 3 dB. Minus 3 dB equivalent to what? The thing is when you're talking about dB, you cannot do anything with dB. You have to know what the number, numeric value for the minus 3 dB. So minus 3 dB. How can, how can we get a minus 3 dB? You have to take 20 log of what number? 0 0.707. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. 0 0.707. 0 0 Same thing. Equivalent to 70.7% of the maximum value. Okay. So, at this cutoff frequency here, this is a cutoff at minus 3 dB. Okay, then the output will keep going down with the slope 20 dB per decade. What that means? That means that for every 10x increment of frequency increased past um, the frequency cutoff point, we will see negative 20 decibel decrease in the practical response. Okay, decade, 10, okay? They're telling you they will be going down at minus 20 dB per 10 times FC. I gave you an example. If you get a one kilohertz cut off, okay? So if the V in, let's see, V in. 10 volt. So at FC, okay, V out equal. Can you do calculation tell, telling me? 
Ít bài xe vì in đi quần thêm vô. So at the cut off frequency 1 kilohertz. What we are. Seven point zero seven. Exactly. Seven point zero seven. If you don't cannot follow it, okay, let me know. You have to understand why seven zero seven. The thing that we're only telling you. At the cut off. Okay. Output will be going down 3 dB. Equivalent to 0 0.707 or 70.7%. 7 so you take 10 volt. Okay. Time. 0 0.707. Get how come I get 7.07 volt. Now, a next question. What the voltage at 10 times Up FC. 10 times FC, that means 10 kilohertz. Okay? And now, they will be asking you, okay, they want to know what output at 10 kilohertz. Who telling me? Zero. Zero. You say zero. Who else? These are very, very basic. You must understand, okay? Not much calculation. However, you will be asking. when you get job interview. They just want to know if you understand or not. Sorry, Mr. Pam, one. One what? One vote? One vote. Okay, we'll see. Now, they already telling you the slope Minus 20 dB per decade. That means at 10 times FC, they will be down 20 dB. However, what I already telling you, dB cannot tell you anything for your calculation. Then you have to find out what the number equivalent to minus 20 dB. Equivalent to 20 log of what number? Zero point. Correct. If you take the log of zero point one, you get minus 20 dB. So, F10 FC VL equal 10 volt time 0 0.1. That's how come you get 1 volt.
So that will be telling you, you can calculate output at a frequency 10K or another 10. That means 100K, 40 dB. And 40 dB, basically, they will be zero point zero one. Okay, any question? The thing I want to understand the basic here later on, very similar, easy to follow it. Okay, no question. Let's see what here. Now, try to get along when they say one pole. Okay, they can be low part, high part filter, band part filter, whatever. However, one pole for low part filter. That means the circuitry, you get only one resistor and only one capacitor. That's what they call one pole. Two pole, you get two resistor, two capacitor. Three poles, you get three resistor and three capacitor. Okay. Low path filter only allow low frequency signal from zero to so it cut off frequency FC. Okay. To part why they blocking not any higher frequency. That means after the cut off, they want the output to be zero, but it's not, so that's why they still get some signal. So that will be telling you one thing. How come you get your cell phone? Some really cheaper, but some very, very expensive. The thing is, inside cell phone, the computer will be cost a lot of money, okay? Cut off frequency or corner frequency or critical frequency is calculated by the formula formula. FC equals one over two pi times RC. Where F will be in hug, R in ohm, C in farad. At the cutoff frequency, the gain is down 3 dB. Or the output going down to 70.7%. Same at 0 0.70. Up is, up is maximum value. After the cutoff output decrease at a constant rate, at a frequency, when the frequency increase, that is, when the frequency increase tenfold, one decade, ten times, the voltage gain is divided by ten. In other words, the gain will be decreased 20 dB. Each time the frequency is increased by 10 times. That only telling you when the frequency increased by 10 times of the cut off, then the output will be going down 20 dB for one pole low path filter. If you get a two pole, a little different. Two pole means two R, two C, 
then they don't drone up red will be better. You can see that two pole, two R to C. Drone up red will be 40 dB per decade or 0 0.01. Higher the red drone up, the filter will be better. What they want, they want like ideal filter. They want after the cutoff, they don't want any more wanted. So about 20 years ago, you get a radio when you turn it going from one channel to the other channel, they make a noise, okay? The reason they make a noise, the thing is, when you're going from one station to the other station, they support you, cut off everything, but they cannot, they still get signal. So that's why I make a noise. At this time, Okay, technology better. You can say you're using the radio. You turn it from one channel to the other channel. You didn't hear anything. The following show, the output for RC, low path filter at a different pole, okay? We already know. That's what they call a mid-range. If you don't know, try to remember. Mid-range. Okay, mid-range, that means no loss, input, output will be the same. That's what they're talking about, zero dB. Okay, and you, they show you here, first one on this one, outside here. That will be two pole. They say, we'll be going down. 20 dB per decade. And the second one, minus 40 dB per decade, two pole. And the last one here, three pole, 60 dB. What they want, <clears throat> they want after the cutoff, they don't want any signal, okay? So, for the display here, the back will be 60 dB. That means they can try to cut off the output as much as they can. That takes a longer, okay? And this is the formula. Make sure if you want to calculate the cutoff frequency, one over two pi RC. If you want to calculate the VR at any frequency, you can use this formula, okay? But normally, we don't need to calculate at any frequency. The thing is you want the output easy. You don't need to do calculation. You run simulation they can give to you the frequency of the output at any frequency, okay? So we don't need this formula, but I still show you here for you. Okay, now they given you the low path filter. L, R, L. R, L, 
the cutoff frequency will be Fc equal R over 2 pi F. Okay. So now, can you help me? I want to calculate the cutoff for this circuitry. Fc. Okay, R. Ah. 2 pi L. In this formula, R will be in O. L will be in Henry. Pi will be 3.1 for 2. Okay, who get the answer? Let me know. Three point eighteen kilohertz. What you get? Eighteen. Uh, three point eighteen kilohertz. Three point eighteen. I got the same thing. What the unit? Kilohertz. Kilo, right? It's just a kilohertz. Uh -huh. Okay, so basically you can see they are very simple, very easy. Now, that's what they're talking about by part capacitor. This capacitor here, they go by part. What they, what capacitor want to by part? By part what here? Bypassing R2. Exactly. That means at a certain frequency, this capacitor C1 will be shorted. When they short it, then the signal not go to R2, they go to the round. So that's why they go by parts. Okay. Capacitors are connected in parallel with a resistance for purpose of bypassing or something AC signal around the resistance above a specified frequency. Above circuit so a bypass capacitor C1 connect a clock to bypass R2 effectively. I see must be one ten of value of R2. Okay, the result is practical zero. AC voltage across R2 for frequency that produce I see value one K O or less. The circuit is definitely a low path filter. So basically, we do nothing with that. The thing is that for designer, that sometimes they want to buy path. Then they have to do calculation. Make sure good by path, then I see must be 110 of R2. That means R2 10K. I say 110, that means 1K. Okay? For designer, not for technician. But you're looking in the circuitry, 
for technician, you have to understand that is a bypass. And they will be bypass 10 kilo of uh, juke. High part filter. But any frequency higher than cut off. Cut off frequency formula, the same. Like the low part, FC equals one over two pi times RC. If you're looking on the, this display here, that will be high path filter response, a high path filter output, okay? This is a cut off frequency right here, minus 3 dB. Any signal higher than cut off, they allow to pass. Any signal less than minus 3 dB, they want to cut it off. That completely opposite to the low path filter. Low path filter, but any frequency signal less than FC. High path will be part any signal with the higher than cut off frequency. So the bandwidth here, okay? Next one. Band, band part filter. Band part filter will be part frequency higher than FL and lower than F high. Okay, so now you can see band part, they allow any signal higher than lower cut off and less than higher cut off to part. Outside here, they will be stop so that's why normally we they're using the band part everywhere like in the cell phone in the radio and the signal less than high cut off lower than low cut higher than low cut off they part okay Bandwidth will be F high minus F low. That's why you get bandwidth. The quality Q equal F center right here. Divide the bandwidth. Quality Q just telling you how good your band path filter working, okay? So you can see they did play everything here. Stop it, stop it, and this will be part band. If you want to calculate the app center, they will be square root of app one time F2, okay? That means F low time F high. Make sure if you get a question, let me know, okay? Band stop filter. Opposite to the band part. Band stop filter get a two cut off here. F L F high. F high. However, any signal higher than F high, less than F low, they are allowed to pass any signal in here. They want to cut it off. 
basically they just opposite of the van park filter. Okay, so now this is just display for you how cascading filter section narrow the bandwidth and improve selectivity. So this is the one of the output. Okay, they call it one filter section. What that mean for one filter section? That will be equivalent one one pole. And the next one, two pole, three pole, four pole. Basically for this signal, they want four pole for section. They want that better. My question is, why they want four pole better than one pole? Less noise. Why? Why do you want that for a bone filter better than one bone? Depends on the application. In the case of you're trying to select for a certain radio frequency, you want that one radio frequency and nothing else. So if you have a smaller bandwidth, then you can specifically select that frequency and as someone was saying before, have less noise from other radio exactly. signals around it, not two at the same time. Yeah, right. You're right. Now, if I draw that one, I set my note three dB. That means the cutoff, right? So the cutoff for this guy and the cutoff for that one. For the one pole. So the band width will be wider. So that will be allow a lot of noise, okay? You don't want noise. So that's why you want the bandwidth small as much as you can instead of the big one, okay? So that is why they want for a pole. And in your cell phone, same thing. Okay? Some phone, very good talking. You can hear very clear. You can easy to recognize the voice of the other people. Okay? However, cheaper. Then sometimes somebody talking to you just couldn't recognize his voice. Or who talking to you. Okay. So basically, you want the much better selectivity. That means you want the narrow the bandwidth. And now they're giving you another different engineer to design the filter. You can see here they show a butter wood, electrical bed cell temperature output. So this is the first one, okay? The first one will be this one, elliptical. The second one, temperature. The next one, butterworth, 
and the last one, best sale. Okay. I plan to you. When you see this one here, that is the noise. Okay. So for those filter, which one is the best you want it? For each engineer. Okay. But the word electrical best sale of Chapter. Which one do you will be the good one? Chapita. Fourteen, the good, you don't want any noise, okay? No noise, that is the one you want. The second one, you want the cut off close to the ideal, okay? So that is, will be let you know what choice you want here. So which one do you think the best? in the display here. Would it be best sell? Which one? Tell me the, tell me the okay. name. Best sell. B-E-S-S-E-L. Best sell. Okay. He said the best sell here. Now, we go back to see what's going. Best sell will be no noise. Okay, and no noise here. You get bad sale, but the worst. Okay, and only only two, no noise. Okay, bad sale get better. The thing is, the cut off will be close to the. To the bandwidth, okay? But the word will be wider. We don't want. And the other one, they can get a very good for uh, close, okay, to the cutoff. However, they get a lot of noise. So that's why we don't want. Like Jeopardy, elect, Elliptical, okay? So, <coughs> On that one, best sale will be the best. Okay, so basically that will be and for low part, high part, band part, and band stop filter. Okay, the thing is sometimes you see the circuitry, even I'm engineer. Looking the search to the circuitry, I couldn't recognize. Is it band pad? Band stop? Okay. Or high pad, low pad? The thing is more prone, you get more problem. So that's why. When you try to test things, they have to tell in you. This is band path filter circuitry. Okay, only designer. They know. We testing, we cannot by looking into the circuitry and telling it is a band path or band stop. Okay low path or high path, the thing is simple, you can recognize. But to get a more pole, that's a problem. Okay, so you get any uh, problem, anything you want to add about this chapter, okay? Again, I want to let you know, any student start from 2020, stay with the program up to today. Then we'll be get 
the certificate for attack one. That what uh, next week or following week I have to working on that to report it. <clears throat> I supposed to be reported on in twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. However, at that time, nobody in the office, nobody can bring your certificate. And we not try to see a order. So that's why now I can do it. But take one certificate, just a small one. Okay? No seal. However, after you done, you get a complete certificate, that's a big one, with the seal, that of the one you need to show I'm loyal when you apply for the job. Okay, anything, any question? If it's not, I try to see uh, what else uh, we still need to talking about uh, Okay, we will be get another part. That means we're talking about Transformer and the power in the AC circuitry. So that's will be shorted. Okay, not a big deal. Tomorrow I try to get one more. And also I want to spend tomorrow to help your guy to do your left vote for. AC1 and AC2. If you can follow it, you know how to do what to do. Then you get through it, get a very, very easy. If you do a right thing, and they will be part. Okay? Not a big deal when you try to working on the lab understand that the problem, okay? But you just following the instruction, build the circuitry, apply input, measure anything. You know how to do what to do. That is your job. Then not a big deal, okay? More you work. And that's why you can get along with the circuit, with the oscilloscope, with the generator, okay? Just basically, you understand how to do what to do, giving you more confident when you apply for a technician job or you want to be engineering. They will be happy a lot. Okay. Make sure you will be download the query number six. Okay. Today I didn't see Sam. So I will be run. 
four grade number six. Okay, I want to stop that one. Okay, I try the grade number six. Just a one minute. Okay, so I will run it now. Okay, that's it, sorry. 
I want to correct something.
Okay, number five. That means they want a fair angle. At resonant.
Okay. So, any question? Hey, Mr. Fam, on that last slide, uh, mine, it, it said view option or something. It didn't come up on the screen, right? What Maybe. question? On what question? Uh, the last one, it says, you are <laughs> viewing, it said you are viewing Hoy Fam screen view option. What do you mean the option? I don't know what happened to this thing. It won't let me get to the, the box where you make the window big. And I didn't touch anything, so I, I don't know what happened. So can you see 17, 18? I, Look like uh, it's it's big, but maybe it's on my side. Something happened and I couldn't get it. It won't let me get to the where you um, make the screen big, minimize, and expand. I don't think it's on your side, Mr. Pham. Okay. I can't believe the thing was everything was okay then. It's out of the note. Okay, so if have a no question. Then we have a good night, everyone. We will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, Ms. Am. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night.